So Alison, I know you've been in hospital. What's, mm. What was your understanding of how that was? Uh, well, I was pretty sick and they, mm. um, they threatened me with ICU admission. Mm. Tell me what happened with the ICU conversation. Well, I got really sick one night and they said if my blood pressure dropped any lower that they were going to put me yeah. in there. Sounds like you're pretty worried about maybe ending up back in ICU. Yeah, I don't want my kids to see me like that. Mm. I was in there before and um, it's just a horrible place. Mm. Mm. But I know I'm not as good as I was. So. Yeah. You're right, you, you're not as strong as you were back then when you were there before. I wonder if now would be an okay time to talk about options other than ICU admissions. Do you mean stopping treatment? I know it's a really tough thing to talk about. And no, I don't mean stopping all treatment. What do you mean? Well, I wonder if we should focus on treatments that are going to make a difference to your quality of life um, and try and avoid treatments that aren't what you want or aren't helping you. Um, I want to keep going with the radiotherapy because I know that's helping the headaches. So. Absolutely, and I agree you should keep doing that. Um, from what I know of you though, you don't want to head back to ICU. Um, however, you, you may still have to call an ambulance at some point if you got sick at home or if your kids got worried. Um, and we actually have a form that we can complete which tells the ambulance officers about this conversation so that they wouldn't start any treatment that would end up with you in ICU. And they can still take you to hospital if that's the right thing for you at that time. Does that sound like something you'd be keen to do? Yeah, that'd be good. Great, we can do that today.